Challenges and Changes. February 23, 2014. We are the Light Collective. Again we come, delivering a stream of information through our scribe, given in light waves and energy packets, translated into our language and through our mind. Understand that while this is not a perfect way for us to communicate with those who read these messages, it is one method by which we can convey our intent and concern while your bodies adjust to the new energies. Each of your bodies is equipped with an innate ability to communicate with Source. You have long been told otherwise. Now we are telling you what you have been taught is not true. As a result of your conditioning, many of you have shut down your feelings, have refused to listen to your intuition, deny that you have anything to offer the world, and simply zone out passing through life in a gray cloud of desperation and depression. To break up the miasmic sea of unqualified thought forms that currently clog the astral plane around the planet and within each of your auric bodies, Source has been sending a series of deep space generated cosmic waves to shatter the darkness, crack open the depression and let the light shine in on all of you. Discomfort is not something that humans seek, so we bring it to your doorstep, so to speak, by creating change and transformation. You can seek ways to resist, but in doing so you are creating even more tension in your bodies. Your bodies are naturally aligned with the planet and her rhythms, to go against this flow is the road to disease. Disease can be a teacher. Disaster can be another teacher, when one is unwilling to move out of a state of resignation and despair. How you respond to the circumstances with which you are presented, determines how you will transcend challenge and create opportunity for change. What you think about yourself and the world will show up, mirrored through the individuals and circumstances that you are presented with, on a daily basis. What do you do when confronted by an angry person, one who seems to be out of control? Do you deny their right to express how they feel, their perspective of the world that they are experiencing? Do you continue to deny how you are feeling? Your emotions are, simply are. They are not negative or positive, despite all you have been told. Once you are able to clear the feelings, they will express and flow without the need for you to project them onto others. You can dance out your anger, draw your sorrow, sing your happiness and stamp through depression. Be creative. For a very long time, human society has been suppressed, prevented from utilizing its innate gifts, skills and talents, to create a better world for all. Why? A powerful elite has desired to keep you all enslaved to serve its needs, not your own. Technology has existed for a long time that would have enabled all humanity to have clear air, clean water, and food on the table, a solid roof over their heads, and the leisure time to pursue dreams. What has prevented this technology from being made available to the people? Simply a power structure that thrives on control and lives on fear. Keep the people in chaos and fear, and retain control. And yes, they fear you, the people for they know how powerful you are. We are not suggesting that you go seek out these individuals. They are well protected for now. However, they too, are vulnerable to the rising frequency vibrational levels of the planet. At some point, the hardened shell around these darkened hearts will crack and the light will come rushing in. Then they will either transition or transcend their former transgressions. It is not for you to judge. All of you are quite aware that each individual is their own harshest judge, and so it shall be for these dark ones. The darkest being is still welcomed in the light when it is their time to do so. The love of heaven is unconditional, no prodigal is ever turned away. What can you do as an individual to hasten the emergence of humanity into a new era? You can come in touch with what you are feeling. You can let go of the need to understand everything by categorizing dividing and minutely dissecting into bits. You can go deep into your own heart space and listen to the beat, to the rhythm that echoes in the earth's body. You can go out in nature and look at flowers, at the way things grow, how the rivers flow around obstacles, how mountains are worn away by the elements, how the winds blow, how bees gather honey, how the sun rises and sets, how the stars twinkle on a clear moonless night. 
you can begin to see yourself reflected in the world around you, in the eyes of friends and companions, in the way your pets respond to your voice. All of life is connected. All of life is sacred. Western culture has purposefully forgotten this ancient wisdom and knowledge. It has been suppressed in order to cut you off from the natural world so you would not grow your own food anymore, but would be content to buy and eat what was provided to you by corporations eager to make money on dumbed-down consumers. It was done to remove the peasants and rural people from the farms, ranches, and wild places so they would be forced to live in large, unclean cities, cramped into tiny, airless living spaces. It was done to convince part of the people that it was a righteous thing to destroy indigenous cultures and place the survivors onto reservations, left to fend for themselves in extreme poverty. You have been told that the planet Earth is a schoolroom. For many, it has also been a prison planet. However, many of you have come here purposefully to transform the prison into a bastion of light. You answered the call of Gaia, the living being who ensouls the planet as well as the call of Creator and you came, in your millions, and promptly fell asleep when you emerged into the heavy dense and polluted atmosphere of Earth. Now, many of you have come awake, prompted by an inner wake-up call that persistently and sometimes rather rudely startled you out of a somnolent state and into a somewhat painful or should we say, feeling full state of being. Your inner being had just notified you that it was time to get down to work. And so you sit and wonder, what am I supposed to do? Listen. Learn to listen to the guide within. All people have won. All people have chosen to ignore this inner voice or prompting, hunch or nudge, more than once and regretted it. Did you ever land your car in a ditch on the snowy night when you ignored that knot in the belly that was telling you don't go out? All of you have done this one time or another. Some of you have actually succeeded in coming to heed the inner voice and to value it for its deep wisdom. You may have even wondered where that voice was coming from. We tell you now that it was coming from and has always come from you. While you are living on a backward planet, you still have an extraordinary opportunity to advance your soul evolution. Yes, we understand that we are getting ahead of things for some people especially those who do not identify with religion or spirituality. Soul, God, Creator? All of these words push buttons for some people, perhaps remembering miserable days spent in parochial school under the dominion of bossy teachers and nuns. What if we were to tell you that we do not worship gods in other dimensions? God can be translated into intelligence. The universe is run by various levels and dimensions of intelligence. Love is active intelligence and the underlying basis for all that exists. The concepts are simply too vast to cover and comprehend in a simple message. Just feel for yourself the intelligence and organization that underlies the development of a single rosebud. A masterful creation that brings such pleasure to your senses. And multiply that by the magic that exists all around you and within your own physical vessels, your body. It is a complex wonder that still defies the ability of scientists to fully understand. As you open up to the possibilities that exist outside of the conditional understanding of the world as you have been taught exists, you begin to sense there is something else that is not quite so easy to define, magic. And it is your task and your joy to follow the skein that leads you into a new world, filled with light, beauty, harmony and love. The trail will take you through shadows and fears pain and sorrow, and on into a sense of growing inner peace and serenity. As you come to acknowledge that you are more than what you seem from the outside, you will begin to acknowledge the great wisdom that has been stored in your DNA, like a vast library of light that only you have a card to enter. And eventually, you will understand that the wisdom and light stored there is meant to be shared with the world, for only by uniting in your efforts to bring freedom to these shores will you succeed. We wait the time when people will greet us with open hearts for we have much to share. Meanwhile, we watch, to advise and work with those who are open to our energies. The numbers of people who are aware of our presence and our peaceful intent continues to work exponentially. It is not our purpose to interfere on a world where we will be greeted with lethal force and such is the current status that exists upon your world. 
The power structure that has kept your consciousness levels pinned down for centuries still remains in place, although it is slowly disintegrating. The percentage of awakened people continues to grow, but there is still room for expansion. We tell you that anything you do to expand your own horizons and inner connections will aid to the transformative energies that are breaking apart the old paradigms and belief systems. As the saying goes, be the change you want to see. Your thoughts and emotions are far more powerful creative forces than you might currently believe. You create your world as a collective. As a collective you must change your world from the inside out. We cannot do it for you. Individually, you can rise up in your frequency levels to step out of the world, but most of you will remain to serve others in coming to grips with the massive change and challenges that have come upon the earth. Some of the challenges due to the resistance emanating from those who do not wish to release their control and power, primarily financial, over the planet, as well as those who do not welcome any kind of change. So it is up to the visionaries, the crazy ones, the artists and creative engineers, the ones who dream of a different world to move the reluctant ones slowly towards a new paradigm. The shift of the collective consciousness will happen, just how fast it occurs will be determined by many different factors, most of all, by every living being on the planet and how they respond to the call of the inner teacher. Will you answer the call? Will you listen to your inner wisdom? Will you dare to dream of a world filled with abundance and well-being for all? First and foremost, while stepping forth into the creation of a new paradigm, one can feel some sense of anxiety. Know that you are regarded with awe by the universe as having tremendous courage to come here and attempt such a huge undertaking, the planetary ascension of an entire human collective. So, don't feel disappointed if this task is not fulfilled in the next year or so. It will be completed in the fullness of time for we come from your future and know it so. Have faith and trust in the wisdom that guides you onward to your sacred task, bringing heaven to earth. Our blessings go forth to all of you, wherever you might be in your journey. Experience each moment as sacred for it is the experience that is the journey, not necessarily the ultimate goal. You are free in this moment if you know it is so, and no one can ever take that away from you unless you give your freedom away yourself. We love you dearly. Namaste. Channeled by Elizabeth Ayers Escher. www.bluedragonjournal.com